Good afternoon, it's Mairead from Robert Walters Procurement and Supply Chain team. So a lot of you will know Martine and I have worked together at Robert Walters for the last five years and we often will travel to work together from the eastern suburbs and we sit next to each other in the office. So it's very strange that we're communicating digitally, but um, really great that we can. So we felt it might be um, helpful just to share some of the positive news that we are seeing across our procurement and supply chain network over the last few weeks. So from a procurement perspective, um, so far we haven't experienced any job losses within the procurement teams that we work with. We definitely are seeing that there's a shift in the area of focus, um, particularly switching from strategic sourcing to deep dives into existing categories to look at cost savings and where the opportunities are. Um, definitely a big focus on supply relationship management and working through business continuity plans, particularly um, a lot of the professional services category managers that we work with that look after labour hire as part of their remit. I spoke to quite a few of our IT commercial managers and they're very busy securing extra software licences and equipment to support much larger volumes of employees that are working from home. So overall, um, it seems to be busy. There seems to be a need for these procurement um, professionals and their expertise, particularly at a time like this where um, businesses are being quite impacted. So another really, um, I suppose, positive experience that we've had in the last week, Josh Gordon, who's one of the members of our procurement team at Robert Walters, he's worked with a lot of his procurement clients um, and being able to make introductions and share information um, where appropriate in relation to suppliers and areas where there's real demand and um, particularly within healthcare services. So um, I hope that you'll find that this is helpful and um, that there is a lot of positivity out there within procurement and supply chain teams. And I'm gonna pass you over to Martine to share her insight um, across the supply chain market. Thank you. Thanks for that, Mairead. Yes, supply chain is critical business function at the moment, and it's great to see supply chain professionals get recognition they deserve. Quite similar to the procurement industry, we've not experienced many job losses, and in certain industries, particularly within the blue collar supply chain, we've seen a desperate need to hire within this space. So, for example, um, if you would have heard the Prime Minister uh, mention that the state borders are shutting down, once our freight enters into the new state, drivers are forced into a 14 day quarantine which creates a need for more shift drivers and operators. Logistics businesses are looking at partnering with cab and Uber drivers to assist with deliveries. Locally, meanwhile, the big supermarkets are hiring more staff within the warehouse to move stock and replenish shelves. Innovation has been more important in supply chain and while the economy faces a challenging time ahead, again, cost-cutting initiatives are also a priority. Supply chain needs to be more creative than ever. Demand planners, logistics managers and supply chain managers are critical roles at the moment and all supply chain professionals need to take part in continuous improvement and ensuring that businesses still operate through this difficult time. To conclude, we just want to let all our candidates and clients know that we are here for support, for advice or even just for a chat. Communication is extremely important while we find ourselves in isolation. Thanks for listening and stay safe.